legs, Mom. <laughs> Yogi's all dressed up. Mom's got her her chief shirt on. You look great. Hello and welcome to Super Bowl Sunday as I punch Mom in the face. <laughs> that was an accident. Yeah, no flag. Personal it, foul. Hands to the face. <laughs> This is like uh, 15 yards offense. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, it is Super Bowl Sunday. Chiefs are playing the 49ers in Vegas today, and we're ready. I'm wearing my Mahomes jersey, and we are planning all kinds of like Taylor Swift themed foods. Somebody help me remember. We've got um, this is why we can't have nice wings. Um, invisible Paper. invisible strings, which are going to be cheese sticks, which I'm about to make. Paper rings. Paper rings, which is onion rings. Um, antipasti hero. Was that? Oh, veggies and seemingly ranch. We're also going to have some champagne problems today and maybe a lavender haze lemonade, but um, I'm getting ready to bread the mozzarella sticks. The onion rings are in the freezer. They're coming out of a box because I'm cheating. The wings are also in the freezer. Those are also coming out of a bag because I'm cheating on those. Um, still need to wash the produce for the veggies, the ranches. I think in the pantry or in the refrigerator and the antipasti needs to be assembled so um, let me show you the mozzarella sticks because i'm making these from scratch so here on the kitchen island i have flour with garlic powder salt a little bit of cayenne pepper and italian seasoning i have my eggs and this is breadcrumbs with also some uh, mashed up ribs crackers and over here i have my string cheese and then these are pepper jack like snacking cheese sticks so I'm very excited to try those and then here in the sink draining I have pickles because I'm gonna make some fried pickles too we had uh, stolen quiche pretty lies this morning so um, we're also drinking some uh, champions Bud light this is from 2020 you can judge us if you want but it was kept in the refrigerator so it's not funky but anyway I'm gonna bread these and then stick them in the freezer for at least an hour before we fry them and I'm tempted to try these in the air fryer and see how that goes but anyway I wanted to get this started and show you where we're at because it is 4 22 p.m. game starts in about two hours we are at 5 56 p.m. and I have my champagne problems right here we've got lavender haze lemonade right here and this is our food situation so far I have wings in the air fryer these are our fried pickles i put them in the air fryer for like 15 minutes at 390 degrees we have vegetables we've got our olives and our artichokes that's going to be our antipasti for today uh, we have spicy ranch and regular ranch we've got blackberries and raspberries and strawberries and cherries so we are getting there i'm about to start the mozzarella sticks as soon as these um wings are done so I'll put the mozzarella sticks in the air fryer as soon as these are done all right chiefs are coming out onto the field I think they're in the tunnel uh, mozzarella sticks are done I don't think they're perfect but I think they came out okay um, and everybody else is you know seeming to be okay with them so I'm pretty happy and they're air fried so they were a lot easier to make than like deep frying them these are not wings they are like nuggets but we're counting them as boneless wings and it's fine oh also I did my nails. Um, I have a football on my pinky. I have a 13. I've got some glitter. So, anyway, these are pretty good. The um, onion rings are in the toaster oven now, air frying, and because I totally forgot about these, and then we'll do the pepper jack mozzarella sticks after a bit. But anyway, so far, so good. I'm pretty happy. And game starts in about 10 minutes. Reba just sang the national anthem. Mom is reading off the bingo cards that she made, so I've They're got one. Different. Huh? They're all different. Every single bingo card is different? Mm -hmm. You put a lot of work into this, Mom. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. So. And Emma's so nervous, she might throw up. Yeah, Emma's really anxious. But um, I'm really very excited, and it's starting to smell really good in here because these onion rings, I just flipped them, and they're doing stuff in there. They're bubbling it looks like you are no i think that's just a the chiefs are ready to get us underway and yes the first super bowl 
in Las Vegas. Something very exciting just happened. Well, two very exciting things just happened. San Francisco fumble, Chiefs recovery, and then a wicked commercial. Then we're gonna have a wicked movie. Ooh, I'm very excited. <laughs> All right, end of the first quarter. No one has scored any points yet, but this is what um, Anthony's bingo card looks like, and this is what mine looks like. And so far, not an exciting game, but we've had a couple of like people drop behind the line and a couple of favorable penalties like a San Francisco false start so anyway also this one the free space announcers say something stupid or announcers seem stupid those are easy mostly because I know what I think about Tony Romo so <laughs> <laughs> it's halftime and the score is 10-3 San Francisco up on Kansas City but I, I'm, I remain convinced Tony Romo is an idiot. <laughs> I know. Thank goodness it's a free space because he said lots of stupid things. Also, in reference to our bingo cards, somebody already has bingo. San Francisco, uh, fair catch. Two minute warning and Kansas City has the ball. San Francisco false start, reference to the number 13 which is Taylor Swift's lucky number, and then the players fight, which they have been doing a couple of times. So, anyway, first bingo right over here. All right, I just used a swear word because uh, Butker, Harrison Butker, just broke the field goal record, and I also got a bingo. A player record is broken. So, here is my bingo. Ta-da! Yeah. I think we're done screaming. Um, Casey just got a touchdown. That was really, really, really thrilling. Um, it was, it came off of a, um, was that a punt? We were punting yeah, to them. And then we recovered and then immediately the next play, we got a oh, touchdown. So nice job, MVS. <laughs> so we're very happy. And so is Patrick, we're relieved. And also the score is now 13-10. There's Travis looking very pumped. So we, our yeah, score. Is score is 13 10 and you know what that is Taylor's lucky number so it's ours Look too yay it is 9 37 p.m. and we are just now getting ready to start the fourth quarter so three hours three quarters <laughs> all right we're tied at 19 with three seconds left and I'd like to say that I'm not upset about it but I'm a little bit upset about it. Also, what is a Dolphins fan doing there? You <laughs> just wanted to see some sport. How wild. Also, look who came to see me. Wow. Hi, honey. <laughs> all right, so we're going to overtime and they're telling us all about the brand new overtime rules and I can't help but think that it's stupid. So we're gonna flip a new coin and start a brand new football game. Score is 22-19, 49ers just kicked a field goal. And I still have a cute little cute cat. Hi, you're so beautiful. I love you. <laughs> the Chiefs' bad years are better than everybody else's best years. <laughs> the Chiefs just won the Super Bowl, <laughs> and Emma's right. <laughs> the Chiefs' bad year, they won the Super Bowl, and they're back-to-back -back champions. <laughs> I am is, losing my mind. This is thrilling, and they didn't do the stupid shaped confetti this year. I'm so you know, glad. Do you know what this means? No. What does this, this mean? This means Tay Voodoo works. <laughs> Yeah, we did braid Emma's hair specifically to manifest this, <laughs> and they did it. They're getting ready to present the Lombardi Trophy. Everybody's rubbing their dirty, grimy fingers on it. Oh, it used to look clean, and now it's not. But <laughs> the Chiefs have won a Super Bowl again. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for them all. <laughs> They've, they have presented the trophy and they did end up doing the stupid trophy shaped confetti for the trophy ceremony and now we are trying to figure out ways to cheat 
on our bingo cards. And it's not cheating. No. It's just clarifying. Oh, it's technicalities is what it is. So I got to see Papa Kelsey, and I got to see Donna Kelsey, and then Emma got 12 men on a field because they're presenting the trophy on the field, so there's more than 12 men on the field. There's at least 12. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, there's a ton of people on that field. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. The only four that I'm missing are two beer commercials in a row. San Francisco challenges a play. San Francisco quarterback ran for more than five yards, and San Francisco miss misses a field goal. Did anybody see heart hands? I didn't see any heart hands. No, there were no heart hands. I had that. We one. never saw Jason yelling. Um, never saw a commercial with with Post Jason Malone and, and Tyler. Patrick Kelsey. Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes or Travis Kelsey. Um, we never saw a challenge. No we never saw uh, Taylor and Brittany hug. Casey did not have a rushing touchdown. There were no Taylor Swift lyric references or references to the Grammys. No sign or no sign of Swift. Yeah, they Kelsey. didn't show the fans like at all in this game. It was so weird, and we were no waiting. Two commercials. We in were a row waiting beer. for this one, like two beer commercials in a row. We were waiting for that one. Never happened. That is it. I'm gonna end the vlog here. The <laughs> Super Bowl is over. I have one comment. And mom said that Christian McCaffrey deserves to be MVP of the Super Bowl. I have to agree. He ran his legs off. And I do want to weigh in on the Travis Kelsey, like, getting heated on the sideline with Coach Reed. They have a very father-son relationship. If anybody knows what Travis Kelsey is like and how much he wants this and how passionate he is, it's Andy Reed. And beyond that... There is footage and proof of Travis going up to Andy and apologizing and them hugging on the sidelines. Like, I think within 10 minutes of that happening. Well, so nobody mentioned it. They were all really passionate about it, the game. All of them, Every, everybody they who was in that building. This. Everyone who was there, everyone who paid a, like extreme admission fee to get in and have a ticket to go to the game. Yep. Everyone who, you know, played their heart out trying to get to the Super Bowl. Everybody on the field, off the field, I think everybody who was there really wanted it. And this was a really fun game to watch. It was very tense. I don't know about fun. I was <laughs> ill for um, most of it. Okay, so it was really, really yeah, close. Was yeah. It was really close. And it was kind of uncomfortable. But I would rather have a close Super Bowl than a okay. total blowout. So anyway, that's it. You guys will see us in another video really soon. Bye!